So you might be in this really weird situation where for some reason your keyboard on your Android phone is just not showing up at all. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The very first thing I'd recommend doing though for the most part is just double checking the keyboard. So you can do this by making your way back into your particular application just like this or any app. And you wanna go and bring up the keyboard by just initiating a text box. So find a text box and sometimes randomly it can just randomly start working. So if it's a particular application where you're getting this issue, but then you hop inside of like a different app and it doesn't, you don't really get that issue anymore, it could have just been a random glitch. And that's the first thing I'd recommend doing is trying out different text boxes. So going into different apps, going into different areas and trying to see if it's working in some areas and if it isn't working in other areas, then there might be an issue. Now, if that doesn't end up working, the other thing I'd recommend doing for the most part is just simply going through and trying to see if you can force stop the keyboard that you're using or switch over to a different style of keyboard. So you can do this by making your way over to your settings application. You want to scroll down until you see apps right here, and you want to find that particular keyboard. So if you're using, you know, Gboard or Google Keyboard, you may just want to hop inside of this application and just force stop it. Now when you do that, you can see that sometimes it'll look like it's working or sometimes it won't. So just hop into here, force stop this particular application. So just like so, and you want to go back into that text box again, and you should see that it should pop up once more. So sometimes that can randomly fix it too, and that's probably all you're going to have to do as well. If that still doesn't work, you may want to try going through and seeing if there's an update available for your Android device. So simply just hop back into your settings application here, scroll down until you see system, scroll into system update again. And if there's an update available, you may want to go and update your phone. If there's no update available, you can try going through and restarting your phone. So just holding down the button to restart your device. And that could very well end up fixing the problem as well. So those are just a few different ways to fix this. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.